physical description. Approximately 29 to 31 centimeters in length, males have a striking appearance with a greenish yellow body, a bright orange patch on the breast, and a grayish head. The back and wings are green with blackish flight feathers and a purplish band across the chest. Females are generally duller with less prominent orange on the breast. Eyes and bill. They have a bluish green bill with a yellow tip and vibrant reddish eyes. Environment. They inhabit a variety of forested areas including deciduous evergreen and secondary forests as well as cultivated areas with fruiting trees. Diet. Primarily frugivores feeding on a wide range of fruits and berries. They are known to favor figs but will also eat other fruits, seeds and occasionally flowers. Enjoy watching these orange breasted green pigeons video at Sri Vagbaleshwar Mandir in Banda. Orange is the female. Hmm. Color hmm. Hmm. This orange-breasted green pigeon was videoed at Bide's homestay. Chestnut headed beetle. Merops rationality is a vibrant and colorful bird species known for its striking appearance and social behavior. Here's an overview of its characteristics and habitat. Coloration The chestnut headed bee eater has a bright chestnut colored head and crown, giving it its name. The upper parts, including the back and wings, are green. The throat is yellow and there is a black eye stripe that extends from the beak through the eyes. The underparts are greenish blue. Size This bird measures about 18 to 20 centimeters in length, including the elongated central tail feathers. Beak Like any other bee eaters, it has a slender, slightly curved beak which is perfectly adapted for catching insects, particularly bees. Preferred habitats. These birds are commonly found in open forests, woodland edges, mangroves, agricultural areas and near bodies of water. They prefer areas with a good supply of flying insects. 
die. As the name suggests, bee eaters primarily feed on bees and other flying insects such as wasps, dragonflies and butterflies. They catch their prey in mid-air with impressive agility. Social behavior. Chestnut headed bee eaters are highly social birds, often seen in pairs or small flocks. They are known for their cooperative behavior, including sharing duties and caring for the young. Nesting. These birds nest in burrows that they dig into sandy banks on flat ground. The burrows can be quite deep, providing a safe environment for their eggs and chicks. IUCN Red List The chestnut-headed bee-eater is currently listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List. This indicates that the species is relatively widespread and abundant. Its presence in various habitats across its range makes it an important species for studying avian, ecology and the health of ecosystems. Oof, such a stubborn itch. Gotta get rid of it somehow. The Nilgiri flapicker, Diceum concolor, is a small bird endemic to parts of South India and Sri Lanka. Here are some key points about this species. Physical appearance. The Nilgiri flapecker is a tiny bird typically about 8 to 10 centimeters in length. Its upper parts are olive green while the underparts are paler, often grayish or whitish. Both males and females look similar with no significant differences in their plumage. The Nilgiri flapecker primarily feeds on nectar, fruits and small insects. It has a specialized brush-tipped tongue that helps it extract nectar from flowers. It also plays a role in pollination as it moves from flower to flower. Habitat This species is found in the Western Ghats, the Nilgiri Hills and parts of Sri Lanka. It inhabits evergreen forests, secondary growth and garden areas often in hilly or mountainous regions. Behavior. These birds are usually seen singly or in pairs, flitting about rapidly among the foliage. They are active and agile, often hanging upside down or hovering briefly while feeding. Their flight is swift and direct. Breeding. The breeding season for the Nilgiri flapecker typically occurs during the monsoon months. They build small, neat cup-shaped nests out of plant fibers, moss and spider webs, usually placed in a concealed location within foliage. The female lays a few eggs and both parents are involved in feeding the chicks. Oh, I got the same one fellow, I brought him in the lens. One flapaker, I got him in the lens, so I'm going to get it a little bit better. Adios, my birding friends. See you all next in episode 2, Banda.